<clears throat> oh, no, the string could go this way. Here's what I meant. The string could come and then wrap around this way. But it's connected to this point, you see, like that. It goes like that. Um, actually, we do have something that I could quickly bring out and show you that kind of resembles the situation. In this case, what would happen? How would you do it? Well, if it's connected to right to the center, then the acceleration of this will equal to the, acceler the total acceleration of this point, right? Um, let's see here. Yeah, the acceleration of this will equal to the acceleration of that will equal to the total acceleration of this. What's the total acceleration at the front edge? Oh, then we use the fact that the total acceleration of the front edge is um, tangential uh, the total goes to down. I believe then you're going to have uh, mm, No, you know what? It's going to it's going to look something like this. I think it should look something like this and then wrapped around it like that. So, it's going to be weird if it's connect it's going to be weird if it's connected to the front front edge. It's got to come like this and connect and wrap around here but maybe the radius here is negligible and then it just wraps around that area okay so the point i'm trying to make is if it's connected to right at the center of the object how does that change things well then the acceleration of this becomes equal to the total acceleration at this point the total acceleration at that point is equal to the center of mass acceleration you see so A total is equal to A center of mass if it's wrapped around right at the center. So how would that change the way I solve the problem? Then when I go over here, T2 plus Fs is 3A center of mass, I don't have to anymore put half A. I'll just put, I'll stop it right here, 3A. So the way I, so I would solve this is I would just go T2 plus Fs is 3A, and I wouldn't put A as half A. Because now I'm, I've connected that to the center of this. Okay? And then when I do the torque equation, which I erased, what would that look like? T2 minus Fs is equal to, what was the moment of inertia? Two-thirds, right? So that one would look like two-thirds times Ma, and then the M was three kilograms, so that one will be uh, T2 minus Fs would be, uh, if the M is 3 kilograms, uh, 2A. What I'm trying to see from this is how would I approach it if the string was wrapped right to the center, connected to the center. Well, this equation would change, no longer half and half A. And then this equation is changed, A is no longer half A. See, remember the other one? At this stage, I put A as half A. So I got rid of this two. So this one, I wouldn't put A as half A. So I'm just left with two A. So if I solve this one, should it have the, should the A be bigger or less? If it's connected to the center. Answer logically. Should it accelerate faster or should the two kilogram accelerate more or less? It, it feels like to me it should accelerate more because it doesn't have to make the other thing. Um, no, it still has to make. No, it still has to make the other thing ro uh, roll, but it's applying less of a torque to it. Hmm, interesting. Okay, how many say? Let's do a vote of hands. How many say the A of the block? 
is less than when it's connected to the top. How many say more? Okay, well, let's do it. I, my curiosity is peaked right here. 19.6 minus T1 equals 2A. The first two equations are the same. So we add those. Oh, we get the same thing as we had before. That one doesn't change, right? So we're left with 19.6 minus T2 equals 2.5A. What changes is the third and fourth equations. This and this. Okay. Now on the test, if I give this to you, I'm going to tell you how it's connected. Probably the only two cases I'll give you is either connected directly to the center or to the top. I won't give you connected to the somewhere like this. That's, you know. So either to the center or to the top. And the T2 is not applying at all because it's going through the center. Yes. Oh, oh that means uh, that changes one other thing too. You're right, you're right, you're perfectly right. Uh, that changes the... That changes, does that change this force equation? No, it doesn't. It changes this one. Oh, well, no, you know what it does? If the T2 is not applying a torque, then the FS now has to switch direction and go backward. You see why? Because why else would it be rotating if T2 doesn't apply a torque? Ah, interesting, lovely. So the FS has to now switch direction and go back. If T2 is no longer applying a torque, then FS is the one that has to make it rotate this way, right? So the T2 goes this way. So here's what it's going to do. It's going to make the force equation be negative. T2 minus FS, because now the FS changed direction on you. And then in the torque equation, the T2 disappears. And the FS is positive. You see? So the T2 disappears, and the FS is positive. So now let's write it down here. T2 minus FS equals 3A, and the FS equals 2A. OK, let's combine these two. Add them. And you're left with FS, FS cancels. You're left with T2 equals. 5a, and then take that and then put it here, 19.6 minus 5a equals 2.5a, and then here we go, we're getting to the moment of truth here, let's see what the a of this is, the a of the other one was uh, 5.23. Two point six one. So in this case, A of the block equals A of the sphere. They're both equal to each other since it's connected to the middle, and it's equal to two point six one. Oh, which is equal to the A of the sphere of the previous situation. Okay? The only difference was in the previous case, the block was going faster. Double that, the acceleration. So here, the acceleration is less, the acceleration of the block. Now let's try to think why, logically. Should it be less or should it not? Let's see. If it's connected to the center, like Andre said, the tension due to the string doesn't apply a torque. So it's harder for this guy to make this guy rotate. So now the friction has to switch direction on you, 